Hey guys, so today I'll be trying to uh, cook or like do something to an orange. Oh, hi, there's my dog. To uh, an orange by wrapping it in sap and then lighting it. I can't find my big guy, so I'm just gonna go with this little guy. If it doesn't work, we'll figure something out. So, whew. I'll just hold this between my legs. Let's get going. I'm wearing gloves because this is awfully sticky stuff. So, oh, I'm gonna wear one of these gloves. So then I'm gonna need to flatten this a little bit more. So, hold on. Okay. Watch these pictures of orange. So the orange will be smothered by the sap, like so. Put this uncovered side on the bottom so that will get cooked by the sap as it falls. Now I don't, I'll just get another burn tray. <laughs> okay. This is where I get all my burn trees. And we'll get a bigger one. I'm gonna use them. These are all used. I'm gonna use these. <sighs> okay. Lindsay, relax. Now I will attempt to keep this. I don't know if I'll be able to. But I'm gonna try. Now I'll try to light it with this wimpy little lighter. It's bubbling. It's, it's gonna be a slow burn. Slow burner. No! So far. Ah! It's more. Oh boy, it's going. See, so guys, I just need some determination sometimes. It'll likely be burnt on the outside. So the inside of my light may be warm and juicy. As you can see, it's really going, especially the sap. Turn it, we have to baste it. That is an orange on fire, kids. <laughs> They've been out a lot of smoke. Ah. 
I made it bigger, I know. I don't know what this is gonna taste like. Think about it, kids. All it took was a little flame from this guy to start that. <laughs> it's an orange on fire. Now, normally I dunk this in my big thing to extinguish it quickly. However, I want to eat it and I don't want to get in this nasty water, which is gone now. So, I'll go. Well, I don't want to go leave this. I'm going to make a smoke bomb. Woo! Like that, see? That's what I call music. Okay. That'll calm the burning process. Kind of making a smoky environment. Oh, smoke. I don't know if I'm making it burn more or less. Let's see. I'll get you a, a witness eye view. And look what happened. And now I get the smoke on. Now here's our orange. I will get water. Floats. This is still hot. I thought it was crackling. Okay. Now let's do some asthma. Staff cooked corn. Ooh. Ooh. The, the skin is completely carbonified, so it just crumbles. It's very sticky for an orange. Ooh. Might taste really good. Now look at that. That looks like some prime roasting right there. Wow. Maybe you should always eat your oranges cooked in sap. Could be a thing. It's very easy to peel because it's so brittle. It just kind of comes off. Except for here. Okay, so for some reason it seems a little wetter than an orange normally would be. However, on the inside, it looks pretty much normal. Mm hmm. It was a very smoky flavor. I've never had a smoky orange before, but this is very good. The orange tastes heavily of smoke. Not burnt, but it almost tastes like I'm eating barbecue. But it's weird because it's an orange. Yep, I'm still recording. Now, do I want to eat the rest of it? Kind of not. It's kind of a weird flavor. But I think this is the coolest thing I've ever done.
that's in fire and sap. So can we cook an orange with sap? Yes. Can we start a fire with a little boy? Yes. This is Clark Carver, sap burner and vinyl unboxer signing out.